Left hand one is year before. Okay. Yeah. If we just sort of just run through those sort of things we discussed, then I'll just zoom in a bit closer so we can see. So the left hand one, your arms as you took the golf club away. Okay. Your hands moved out of this way, and the club then whipped way on the inside. Okay. So there's a lot of forearm rotation. Arms going out there. So the arm, the left arm now is going through that green line. So your left forearm is basically just twisting clockwise. Yeah. Opens the face up, causes that club to get too far behind you. Shaft parallel, the clubs almost disappear behind the camera. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that club's now laid off, very flat. This is a strong hooks position with an open club face. So you've got a flat hooker's position with an open club face. Good slice, good hook. Yeah. It's just a bit of guess, but you don't know where it's going to go. Okay, and top of the back, so you kind of, sort of level the club off. Club face now is a little bit shut. Okay, but then you keep going, and the club then loses control. Your left arm gets high, so now in a slice position. So you've got slice hook. It's just too many oh, things, and that's why, as you said, you either hook, slice, mm. slice, hook from one day to the next, one hole to the next. Mm. You know, there's no kind of connection or connectivity. And then you come back to the golf ball. It's who's guess where it's going to go. Yeah. So this move now we did with the club just sort of sticks in your belly button, okay? Yeah. We look at this move as you go back now. Just turn your torso. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, all you've done there now, no thought as such. You've just gone whoop, and put the club back there. Because yeah. <laughs> exactly, yeah. So if I were today, do this every day for a minute. Yeah, just I put will. the club in your belly button. If you could do it for more than that, great, okay? Yeah, but do as much as you can there. So when you do it now with that, the club in the belly button, there you go. Perfect. Okay. Right, so you're saying when I bring it there, that yeah. club basically needs to be there. Exactly. So if you put Jensen behind the camera and go, if you want to do it, if you've got your phone obviously there, what you can recommend, or I recommend you do it, and I would encourage you to do, yeah. get Jensen to sort of sit. So when Jensen says, you listen to Jensen, you're going to sit on a chair level with your hand position, okay? So he's on your, his, his height there, where he's there now, he's in line with your hands, yeah. and then take a video and say, right, send it to Gareth. All right, so you can practice that backswing, send it through to me on the email, WhatsApp, yeah. whatever, stuff, and say, okay. Here's a practice. How's it looking? Now, chances are you'll probably see if the club's too far or too far yeah. there. Around. You'll just see it yourself. But just sending it through and meeting yeah. you with that kind of reinforcement. Yes, Gavin, looking great. Tick, 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 tick. Good. And then get him obviously involved in stuff with your golf, so yeah. it's good. Okay, take the club away to there. Perfect, okay? Then when you get to play the shot, okay, in fairness, okay? I'm just lifting that's, 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 that's fine. Because from there, now you turn the body, top of the back swing. Okay? L left arm a little bit high, which we'll discuss what he was going for now, okay? Club hasn't gone so far, though, is it? No. So your wrist hinge and your forearms are collapsing yeah, and folding yeah. around here. As you come back to the golf ball, club's more direct to target. Yeah. You say just slightly pushed it, but it wasn't a dramatic one of them or one of them. It was just a, a straight push, yeah. okay, which is certainly playable to start yeah. with. Okay? So again, in terms of those positions that we get to, okay, that's a better backswing than that there. I mean, that's yeah. kind of like Bubba rest, whatever you want to call it, Bryson or uh, control swing. Okay? At least that one there, you've got some chance to swing the golf club under control. So things to focus on. That takeaway, just get that takeaway better. I remember this. I yeah, remember. which is basically the that. simple move there when you go back, you just turn your toe. You see that move there, I find that quite quickly. Yeah, it's just dropping. Everything's it. moving together. Yeah. From here now, you're just going and doing that. You're not going and adding 45 different variables to it. Which, if I think, if you did this up here with a baseball swing, it's still the same movement, but I think maybe in your head to try and get the baseball swing, you've incorporated this forearm yeah. rotation. And which, Coming down it, the triangle. And we're sort of s yeah, exactly, yeah. And, and your hands are impact gathering doing this to try and square the club face up. One day you get it, one day you don't. Mm. It's just all over the place. It's just no, no you're right. Yeah. You're right. Okay, mate, makes sense?